Okay, so for the last technique that could be used in measuring what amniotic fluid in pregnant women, that's amniotic fluid in the uterus in a pregnant woman. Just for you to see if the amniotic fluid is normal or if it is little, that's what they say oligohydramnios, or if it is too much, that's what they say polyhydramnios. That method is what is known as what? Single deepest pocket index. Okay? So for this single uh, deepest pocket index, we go from the definition so that the single deepest pocket index method is a technique that is using what? Okay, during prenatal ultrasounds. Okay? You see this picture? Right? Prenatally. I've not given back to the child. All right, so during prenatal ultrasound, and you are using this to access for amount of amniotic fluid that is surrounding the fetus, okay? So this method helps us in monitoring the fetal well-being and dictating conditions like what? Oligohydramnios, that's little amniotic fluid, or polyhydramnios, that's what? Excessive amniotic fluid. So how does it work? Okay, there's ultrasound examination. So a detailed ultrasound scan is performed to locate the deepest vertical pocket of the amniotic fluid that is free of the fetal part and umbilical cord. Now, what is the measurement? Now, the depth of the deepest pocket is measured vertically, okay? So they call this single deepest pocket or vertical deepest pocket, any way you call it, okay? So that's how you do it. So what is the interpretation of results? A normal uh, single deepest pocket should be about what? Two to eight centimeters, right? It's considered normal. If it is oligo, you'll be finding around two centimeters. If it is extra, it will be greater than eight centimeters. If it is oligo around two centimeters, if it is extra, more than eight centimeters, right? So the importance is actually straightforward and a very reliable way to measure amniotic fluid in pregnant women. Okay? So I think that's it for what? The single deepest pocket index method, which is used to measure amount of amniotic fluid in pregnant women.